Here we can notice I look a little bit crazy. I look nice on this side, crazy on this side. So I was clearing out my room and I noticed I had a bunch of these, um, these like uh, Brazilian wool hair. I got like a whole pack of them when I was in Nigeria in 2018 so i've got like one two three i had like five so yes yeah, so i basically want to waste them like use them up so i want to do a cute hairstyle so i'm doing this kirucha braids i think i don't know why it's called kirucha braid but i think it's because she kind of made it famous the one time she wore braids. so what i'm doing i'm braiding the back like in singles so maybe like two steps and then I'm doing the front and cornrows um, I already had my hair my natural hair in cornrows and I'm just following because I thought I was gonna wear a bunch of wigs but then when I saw this I was like oh my gosh I'm so over wigs like I want to do a hairstyle so basically what I'm gonna do is like follow the cut of the hair braids on my natural hair and then just like make it smaller like try and fit maybe two or three two or three in each braid something like that see in here you can see that i can't pop this properly so i'm gonna have to take the next braid out yay love it i love that white hair so much All right, y'all, so I tried to get the perfect part. I just didn't feel like that rat tail comb was really sharp enough, but, you know, we make it do. Um, yeah, so I try to make it as clean as a part as I can, but if it's not super perfect, it's, it's all good. And I don't put anything between my part because I have itchy scalp, and I just don't like nothing on my scalp apart from air. <laughs> Uh, so I start off braiding just the hair itself so um, it's very very thin obviously but you just be very light and soft and pick whatever you can pick girl <laughs> pick your brains if you have to and then I attach um, one it's really easy with this because it's in strands the woolly hair is in strands so I add one a couple of times and I do the feeding method um, so it looks seamless so you don't see where the hair attaches um, I don't really know how to teach that but if you can just watch my fingers and learn that way um, if you're trying to learn how to do feeding braids then um, yeah that'll be good but I'm not sure I just kind of just um, I guess I attach it underneath and then braid a little then um, wrap it to the side somehow <laughs> Uh, yeah I don't know how to teach anyways so yeah then I when the hair starts getting a little bit thicker I start adding two I add two a little bit longer then I think in the last one I think I add two like um two three or four times and then um yeah then I add three and then I shortly after I'm like braiding it down to the end don't worry about the little straggly bits um flyaways that will get cleaned up at the end I'm just trying to get the hair done like you know so yeah the process repeats itself over and over and over um some parts of the hair you know the front is really thick so i'm able to do that and um no this hairstyle doesn't damage your edges um there's li i don't know if you can see the way my fingers work there's literally i use very little tension in the front of my hair and i'm braiding with my fingers sort of um upwards and um so with my fingers my hand up on top of the hair <laughs> braiders will understand what i'm talking about and it just means that there's less pressure on the on the hair so you make it look tight but without the pressure anywho so yeah this is girl this is just the process and it took me a minute okay it took me a minute to complete this hairstyle so i'm literally doing everything as i go and um so now there's some braids here at the back that's pulled up because i've unraveled a number of cornrows so i'm gonna head and braiding those this is not such a good angle i should have turned my body a little bit more but it's literally just a single 
box braid if you will it's not i'm not doing a um what's the the a knotless braid at the back and something else i do that i that helps the back of my hair is i twist the hair that i'm gonna braid just to give it added protection i don't know i just i just feel like i like it that way it feels looser it definitely feels looser but it removes the tension from the back of my hair girl we are all about no tension over here okay as little as possible you guys i don't know what i thought i was doing but my hands are really tired now and i've not even done nearly not even quite at halfway <gasps> You guys, I need to leave the house like real soon. I'm already running late. And I don't know, like, I feel like I hardly have time to get anything done these days. Like, running late to everything. And this hair needs to be done. Like, Okay, the last one.